some clubs like the like the diversity peer education team, which is at the Center for Human Rights, um, focus on allyship and education tools, as well as some other student groups on campus. Um, like the student union is uh, has the same sort of mentality. Uh, feminist groups, uh, social justice groups, um, any group really advocating uh, OPERG, any group advocating for uh, social justice. Uh, is well versed in the ideas of allyship and has tries to incorporate these ideas of inclusivity and into their program. So, don't be shy. You know, go up and say hi. Uh, how can I get involved? And you can learn some new friends, learn some amazing things, and really um, improve upon your experience here at York University. I know a lot of people uh, might be a little nervous or scared about joining a group, uh, especially when they're beginning at York University, but you know, just work up the courage to ask them, hey, how can I help out? How can I, what can I do? And I'm sure we'll have tons of suggestions. Uh, becoming a part of York's very vibrant and very active community is, I think, one of the best experiences you could have at York University. And I would say that our spe specifically here, our community has uh, a lot of heart to it. A great tip for, um, uh, for new allies and, and people learning about allyship is um, being sensitive to other people's um, sense of self. So um, making sure that when you identify with someone, you ask them how they want to be identified as uh, in regards to pronouns or reflect as they, as they reflect the language that they use. I always uh, try to remember mirror the people that you're around. So if they use this language, use that same language. I would ask you, how would you like to be referred to as? And you can tell me uh, what gender uh, you prefer. Um, so then I would refer that to, uh, refer you by that gender for the remainder of our conversation and for the remainder of our time together. It's very difficult at times when you're used to saying uh, something and, and now shifting, shifting that language. So, you know, you'd like to use more inclusive language. One thing I struggle with is that I tend to always say, hey guys, when I'm in a crowd and I'm learning to, to shift that and, you know, say hello everyone or you, everyone or folks or all. Um, so to just shift, uh, to shift the language. So it's just about checking in uh, with the language that you use and, and trying to adopt, uh, you know, something new. And the more you do it, the more, uh, the easier it comes. In social groups, people use terms like uh, that's so gay, that's retarded, um, or that's so lame. And uh, what we need to do is, is to start thinking about what is the intention of the using that term and rephrasing it so that it's, it's inclusive and not identifying or offending someone in the group. Consider your audience. So if you are in a place where you're um, a member of some of the groups that you had just mentioned, um, if you're a club, if you're um, an educator and you're planning an event, um, making sure that you're considering all the potential needs of your audience. So whether that be um, physical accessibility, how are they getting to the event, uh, close parking, uh, if they have to, to take transportation to get there, um, having an interpreter present to, to do sign language or other um, other interpretations for people with other um, um, disabilities, uh, or making sure that you're covering uh, all your bases, asking um, from your attendees what their what what supports they might need to par fully participate and engage in that event. It's it's good to always check assumptions. Mm -hmm. Often it's very easy to make an assumption and so one uh, an example of checking an assumption would be based on someone's um, affiliation or religion or creed. So for example you might make the assumption that if uh, I was Catholic that I'd be homophobic or uh, it might you know, depending on my religion, um, I have dietary restrictions, and and you made that assumption for me without asking. So it's always good to um, make sure that you're you're checking with with the assumptions and or not making any and taking you know face value and getting to know your audience, getting to know the the person um, is is another way to to be an ally. 
assumptions on uh, the way that people present themselves is really important. Uh, like I'd mentioned earlier, referring to someone uh, to the gender that, that uh, they prefer. Um, so you don't always want to make assumptions on someone's gender based on their dress, um, uh, uh, just as you wouldn't want to make assumptions on someone's religion based on their, uh, on their dress as well. Making assumptions about someone's sexual orientation based on uh, the way they dress. Or even how they interact. Sometimes it's very easy to make an assumption based on how an individual interacts with others. And, uh, you know, you've already decided, oh, they must be uh, of this gender or this sexual orientation because of, of the interaction. And, and that's often not the case. So it's always good to, um, to check that assumption as well. Also, I guess making a, when, when dealing with people with disabilities, uh, making assumptions on their capabilities mm -hmm. uh, is a big thing. Um, a lot of times people uh, don't feel comfortable or uh, assume that someone has to be treated extraordinarily differently uh, because they have a disability. Um, and I find that often might uh, be discriminatory in how it's carried out. So really just getting to know the person, asking them how can I help you, um, how may I help you, like what's, what can I do, is, is the best way to avoid any of these assumption uh, mm -hmm. problems. We are students, uh, students, faculty, staff at York University, and uh, the reputation of our institution is based on how people perceive us. So, being a good role model and just you know is really important. I always like to think of uh, the past and where we've come from and where we are now. So, always good to uh, rem remember uh, how you got and or how we as a community got to where we are and where we want to go and that we are in fact um, a community working together and at the end of the day it, the community is what you make of it so uh, you know take part and really make the community the, the, the best that it can possibly be and be a leader in, in many ways.